Hello 3D printing friends, today on the BV3D channel I'll show you some of the cool things that can be made with the G Week Cloud Pro laser cutter and engraver. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Becoming a member is a great way to support the channel and has a few perks besides getting your name in lights here. Click the join button to find out more. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to do some laser stuff instead of 3D printing stuff. G Week sent me their G Week Cloud Pro desktop laser cutter and engraver. I'm working on a more detailed video, but I really like it so far, and I wanted to show you some of the things it can make. Now, I've been super hesitant to show lasers on the channel. In the past, I showed a laser attachment you could put on a 3D printer, which in hindsight is kind of frightening. My big issue with the open frame diode laser cutters and engravers is the lack of safety features. Out of the box, there isn't any meaningful way to gather and vent the fumes created when the laser is burning material either to cut or to engrave. And often, those fumes can be either bad smelling or worse, toxic. Reflected laser and UV light are real concerns, and the green safety glasses that come with most of them don't always cut it. Well, the reason I agreed to the G Week Cloud Pro is that it's a fully enclosed 50 watt CO2 laser cutter and engraver with an air filter and an inline exhaust fan. It's a heavy, solid metal and glass machine. The thick glass lid blocks the UV wavelengths of the CO2 laser and there's even a safety interlock on the lid so if you open it while it's working, it pauses and stops the laser until you close it again. Plus, the enclosure and fan keep the fumes from escaping into the room and instead vents them out of the machine either through the filter or to the outside world, or both. I personally vent the exhaust outside and bypass the filter. So being fully enclosed and vented, this laser satisfied my personal safety requirements and I'm comfortable using and showing it. Of course, to control a laser cutter and engraver, you need software. And the G Week Cloud Pro has three different software options. Now, despite the word cloud in the name and having a good for the basics web application to control it, the G Week Cloud Pro is not locked into being cloud connected and does not require using a cloud only application to control it. You can use their online app. It's the cloud tab on their website and it works with Mac OS, Windows and Linux computers. Or you can choose their Windows only software to control the laser. This requires the laser to be tethered to the computer via a USB cable. Or you can use it with one of the most universal pieces of control software for laser cutters and engravers, Lightburn, which also runs on Mac OS, Windows, and Linux computers. And that option too requires the laser to be tethered to the computer via USB. For this video, I used only the online app because I wanted to show what could be done without having a lot of experience with lasers and laser control software. This is the easiest option for getting up and running with it as quickly as possible. So let me show you some of the things that I made with the G Week Cloud Pro that you can make too. So here's the first thing. It's this cool sign that says coffee first, schemes later. It's one of the hundreds of free designs available on the G Week Cloud online app. And it was super easy to do. I just picked the design, put a sheet of three millimeter thick plywood inside the machine and clicked the print button in the app to send the job to the laser. I pressed the big button on the G Week Cloud Pro to start it, and it cut this out in less than five minutes. Then I applied paint and stain and glued it together, and now I have this cool sign. And just as a test of being able to engrave a design on random things, I had this piece of scrap MDF in the garage. So I put it inside the machine. Now there's a wide angle camera inside the lid, so it can take a picture of what's inside, which makes it easy to position your design. With the image from the camera showing the scrap MDF in the machine, I could see where to place my design elements. A wreath, a startled looking reindeer, and the words Merry Christmas. Then a click to send it, and a press of the big button on the machine, and about eight minutes later it was done. Now I've got a cool, kitschy Christmas sign. You can also make these cute Christmas ornaments and personalize them too. 
I made a sweater, a mitten, a hat, and a stocking. Now these were cut from 3mm thick MDF. All four items were in one free design in the Cloud app. They already had names on them, but it was easy to delete the existing names and add new ones using the text tool. There's one for Mom, one for Dad, that's me, and one for each of the cats, Snickers and Jenny Penny Dots. Keeping with the Christmas theme, I bought this design for about three bucks from a site called Craft Genesis, and then I imported it into the G Week Cloud Online app. I engraved the four coaster scenes onto a sheet of 3mm acrylic and then cut them out. And then I cut out the pieces of the stand from 3mm plywood and glued them together. These make an amazing 3D scene when they're all in their stand, and they also help protect your table from the bottoms of cups and mugs. The G Week Cloud Pro also comes with a pair of rotary attachments so you can engrave on cylindrical things. Like this insulated tumbler. I got it a couple of years ago when I was ordering some filament from 3D Fuel. They had some leftovers from Earth 2019, as you can tell by the existing engraving. Anyway, I found this free SVG image file on the web, so I saved it to my desktop, imported it into the Cloud app, and positioned it on the tumbler using the image from the camera as a guide. Click the print button in the app, and then press the big button on the machine, and about five minutes later, I had this wild unicorn print on the tumbler. And I made one with my BV3D logo on it. And again, it only took four or five minutes. Now, full disclosure, even though a 20 ounce tumbler fits in the rotary attachment, I do have to raise the whole machine up a bit to get enough clearance between the tumbler and the laser's focus head. And I did that with some risers that I designed and 3D printed. They're kind of like platform shoes for the G Week Cloud Pro, and that gives it an extra 25 millimeters of height. Now, here's another thing you can make. Customized or personalized slate coasters. These are super easy to make. I bought some blanks on Amazon and put my logo on one of them, and I think it turned out pretty nice. I wanted to make a fancy monogrammed coaster too. Now, weirdly, the online app doesn't have monogrammed letters, which seems kind of like an oversight. So I also bought a fancy set of letters from Etsy for about three bucks. I imported the letter V into the online app, and then I used the text tool to load my family name here in the center part, and then sent that to the machine. And four minutes later, it made a nice fancy coaster, just like I wanted. So with that 50 watt CO2 laser tube, this thing is a beast of a cutter and engraver. I've only just started scratching the surface of what it can do, but so far I've been pretty impressed. It can cut wood, acrylic, and paper, and it can engrave on all that as well as stone, leather, and other things. It seems like a laser cutter and engraver would be a great tool for making things to sell for extra income, and personalized items seem to be really popular. The G Week Cloud Pro handles laser engraving at up to 600 millimeters per second, which is pretty fast, and it made quick work of everything I've thrown at it. This is the kind of thing you could use to open an Etsy shop and offer custom laser engraving services. Coasters or tumblers with company logos? Businesses like those kind of things. And personalized laser monogrammed items? Those make great gifts and they're great items to sell. And those are just a few of the things you can make with the G Week Cloud Pro. And all the things that I made, I did with the online app. There are literally hundreds of designs there. You're not limited to using only the designs in the online app. You can buy designs elsewhere and import them. And you're not locked into using just that cloud app either. Like I said at the start, you can also use their offline Windows software. And the G Week Cloud Pro works with Lightburn, which runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And there are tons of Lightburn tutorials out there for when you outgrow the cloud app. I know I said this at the beginning of the video, but I'll mention it again. Out of the box, this seems a lot safer than an open frame laser because it's able to vent all the smoke and the fumes out, and the glass lid blocks stray laser and UV light to protect your eyes. If you're in the market for a fast, powerful desktop laser cutter and engraver, give the G Week Cloud Pro a look. It has similar specs to the Glowforge products, but the G Week Cloud Pro has a slightly more powerful laser tube and costs a fair bit less. Oh, by the way, G Week set up a special coupon code for me to share with you that'll save you $200 on their machines. So you can use the coupon code BV3D200 at checkout, or you can look in the description for a link with the coupon code baked in. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print, uh, I mean, <laughs> cut and engrave something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. 
and an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.